I was inspired to write this story back in early 2004, which on the surface was a pretty difficult time in my life. I had just gone through a divorce and was in the middle of some activities that were hurting a lot of good people, and those were activities that would ultimately lead me to federal prison. I remember walking down a hallway at a hospital up in Detroit. Uh, I was there visiting my oldest daughter who had just been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. And I guess I was pretty much so drowning in my own pity party when I came across a young couple, probably in their late 20s, pulling their young son in a little red wagon. And I'm guessing the little boy was probably around three years old. He lost his hair, he was very thin and frail, and he had that gray and ashen look that seriously suggested that the end may be near. And for me, it was one of those rare moments in life where you realize that your problems aren't as bad as you think they are. And while I was trying to fathom the amount of stress that this young couple was going through, this little boy looks up and smiles at his parents, and they smile back at him. And that exchange was one of the most beautiful things I'd ever seen. And something inside of me wanted those smiles to last, because in so many cases, particularly in cases like that, those smiles don't. Needless to say, uh, over the next couple of years, I continued to head down the wrong road in life and continue to hurt everyone around me. And somehow in the middle of that destruction, I had managed to scribble around a thousand pages about a magical character who shows up at a hospital in a small Michigan town that makes smiles last. Uh, at the end of 2007, I ended up in federal prison and the story got scrapped. And prison really is one of those things I wouldn't wish on anyone, but at the same time, there are a few things that I'd trade that experience for because from a spiritual standpoint, it really gave me the opportunity to slow down and realize what's important. And as my faith grew, I was becoming anxious to share some of those things that I learned. So I figured what better way to do that than to rewrite my manuscript in a way that was a lot less magical and a lot more spiritual.